Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with more Atlanta Falcons news. Now, I know this will make a lot of people happy. The Falcons have reportedly put Vic Beasley Jr. on the trading block. They are looking to see what they can get for Vic Beasley. Now, this is no surprise to me. This is no surprise to anyone who follows the Atlanta Falcons. And look, man, I know you guys are pointing the finger at man Mike and say, See, man, Mike, your boy's getting traded. He sucks. Look, man, I was surprised that he was even retained. I was surprised that the Falcons brought him back, spent the $12 million to bring him back. I am thoroughly surprised. All right? I'll be the first one to say, yes, I put that label on my back to say that Vic Beasley, I'm Vic Beasley number one fan. Why? It's because he's been unjustly dismissed. People point the fingers at Vic Beasley as to one of the major reasons why the Falcons defense sucks. That's why I put that label on me as Vic Beasley number one supporter. You're damn right. Because Falcons fans, you do that. You guys absolutely try to destroy players when it's not all their fault. Vic Beasley hasn't been consistent. Vic Beasley has not been consistent. Is he worth $12 million? Absolutely. Absolutely he is. But I will say this. Dan Quinn did not help this guy. Dan Quinn did not help this guy develop as a defensive player. Vic Beasley has and always has been an outside linebacker. A 34 side linebacker. This is what he is. But it took us three years to finally get to this. It took us three years to finally get to this point. To realize that Vic Beasley was not an elite pass rusher. He was never that to begin with. He came out of college as a flawed player. He was a speed rusher. A lot of people compared him to a Von Miller. And he was never a Von Miller. He compared more to a Bruce Irvin coming out of college. He and Anthony Barr are pretty much essentially the same exact player. But here in Atlanta, Dan Quinn forced him to be a defensive lineman, which he is not and has never been. So Atlanta Falcons fans, is this, has this been a waste of a player? I think so. I think we pretty much waste three or four years of Vic Beasley's career not showcasing his true talent forcing him to be a defensive end which he is not so Falcons fans this is no surprise to me and I take any and all heat that comes to me all right Vic Beasley what can we get for him what can the Falcons get for a Vic Beasley okay the if you want to know my thoughts on this I would have to say a second and a fourth maybe a seventh round but that's it i don't think the falcons could get a first round for vic beasley i don't think he has that uh value quite possibly i could be definitely wrong a team may look at a vic b and say oh yes i can turn him into a superstar i.e the patriots Patriots wouldn't give up a first round pick, but I think they could use a guy like Vic Beasley and turn him to a mega star. You trade him to the Steelers or 314, the Ravens, any team who needs a edge rusher, a speed rusher like a Vic Beasley who can do a multitude of things, I think Vic Beasley would excel. You trade him to the Minnesota Vikings. I think the Minnesota Vikings would be it would be do wonders. Those guys would be absolutely even more dominant than what they are right now if they traded for Vic Beasley. Vic Beasley still has value, but unfortunately, the Falcons are off to a one in five start, and there is nothing at this point. Bring up Vic Beasley isn't getting consistent pressure. The Falcons aren't winning games, so you might as well, to this point, see 
what you can do. What can you get for Vic Beasley? What can you get from Muhammad Sanu? What can you get if you can? What can you get from a Devontae Freeman? You have to look. Because you don't know if Dan Quinn will be here next year. The Falcons are 1-5 taking on the Rams. Vic Beasley has not been consistent. The Falcons defense is getting worse. Why not look to see what you can get for Vic Beasley? I know I know a lot of Falcons fans are looking out there, looking in the draft. The screams. Are the Falcons going to tank? Are the Falcons going to tank? And if they tank, who is that guy? Who is that guy? And I know a lot of people who are looking in college right now. And they're saying to themselves, there's a guy at Oregon. Not Oregon, but Iowa. His name is Chase Young. Chase Young. All right. Will not say the Falcons are going to tank. But if they do trade for Vic Beasley, if they trade Vic Beasley, this screams to me that the Falcons are looking for another pass rusher. Another dominant pass rusher. So let me know what you guys think about this. Vic Beasley, according to sources, Jeff Schultz, that the Falcons have put Vic Beasley on the trading block. Let me know what you guys think about this. Leave your comments below. What's your boy, man? Mike is out, man. Peace. Whipping the Princess Diana. Double cup bling, found her. Oh, my old God.